we're going to China. Welcome to traveling to China with us. Hello. We just made it through <laughs> TSA. It was very smooth. And now we're going to our gate for our first flight. Our first flight is from Denver to San Francisco. We have a three hour layover in San Francisco and then we have our flight from San Francisco to Hong Kong. So it'll be a very long travel day, but we're here. So. about to board our flight. I did not realize boarding started at 6.10, but we're here and we're ready to go. Cheers! We made it on the plane. This is a massive plane. There's three different rows and a whole like separate like front part of the plane. It's kind of crazy. My hair is a mess, and we have about a two and a half hour layover. So, we're gonna find our gate, the international terminal, and then get some food and wait. I really wish we could stay and explore San Francisco because it sounds like so much fun. How do you feel after the flight? Cold, so cold. I am now wearing a hoodie, so you know. Currently 9.09 .09 in California. We got some dinner, I got some udon, and it's currently 10.09 .09 my time. So we've already kind of changed time a little bit, but we're currently at the gate. I think I'm going to grab a cup of coffee before we get on this flight because I'm trying to like do like a little ghetto like sleep schedule change so I'm not too jet lagged when I get to Hong Kong. I decided on matcha instead. I don't want to be awake till 10 a.m. tomorrow. This is a paper straw and I'm gonna cry. It's a very overpriced matcha latte from Napa Farm. So I hope that at least tastes good. Okay, it's pretty solid. I just need like a little energy boost so I can think, not be too jet lagged tomorrow. I don't know what my plan is, but cheers to that. Rate it out of 10. Seven. Seven. Stop. <laughs> I have to pack my doomsday supply of a power bank. It's literally massive. And amazing. We love it. We're to pay $6.50 for water. little interview in the San Francisco airport. We're about to board the Hong Kong flight. You good? Oh, I'm sleepy, man. Same. Where in China are you most excited to go? I don't know. I ran a little time. Our flight just got delayed. How do you feel? No good. Do you know how Almost 4 a.m. 
a.m. my time and I'm exhausted, but we just had dinner. It was airplane food. My hair is all black, but I should probably hurry up and do this so I can try to get some sleep. I'm also watching Crazy Rich Asians, which is the best movie to watch while you're flying to Asia. I don't even know how to like set this up in here. We are staying on Lantau Island for a couple of days so that we can go to Disney and explore Discovery Bay. It's so beautiful and lush over here. We are staying at the Auberge Discovery Bay Hotel. Very high ratings. Seventh floor, y'all. All right, we're staying at the Auberge Discovery Bay. All right, we're staying at the Auburn's Discovery Bay Hotel for our little Disneyland segment of this trip. You first walk in, little closet, and then to your left, ooh, tripped on my way in. We have beautiful shower and bathroom, and then mini fridge, water machine, tea and coffee, TV, beds and y'all it's very humid but look at this view of the mountains saying hi from lantau island hong kong i'm so excited we're staying at the auberge discovery bay hotel as i previously mentioned for a couple days because we're going to go to hong kong disneyland first impressions of hong kong it is so humid here. I'm not super well acclimated to humid climate, so this is like a big intense change for me, but the view is beautiful. Everything is so lush here on like the Lantau Island side, and this Discovery Bay area actually has a lot of little shops and coffee shops and eats, so it's going to be super fun. We just got in this morning at 5 a.m., from our 20 hour travel day from Colorado and first impressions of this hotel, everyone who works here is so nice. Our concierge helped us get checked in way earlier than the normal check-in time since we have just been absolutely exhausted from traveling. And our taxi driver was the sweetest man ever. Oh my goodness. He was just the nicest guy ever. I can already see my hair going haywire, but we're gonna go downstairs and treat ourselves to some hotel breakfast because we're hungry. Our travel day was honestly insane. I think I felt every emotion under the sun on that plane ride over from San Francisco. There were crying babies, there was random food dishes, and on our way, out of security in the Denver airport, this lady was holding her suitcase on the escalator and then she let go of it and it just went flying down and it literally hit someone in the back. It was the funniest travel day. It actually went pretty smooth. Our Hong Kong flight got delayed by an hour, but it was really full and chaotic. So that was to be expected. Didn't really sleep much. Um, the food wasn't that amazing. It's airplane food. Um, and sleeping in economy is kind of weird because it's kind of hard to like get comfortable and like sleep So that was a little difficult, but nonetheless We made it here despite 
all the circumstances and I'm so happy to be here in Hong Kong! Woo! <laughs> What is your favorite thing about Hong Kong? 